welcome back. We are live at the Star Trek movie premiere. Ooh. <laughs> Very good. This is impressive. Gay Trick right. Badness. Da, 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 da. You know all the theme songs, right? I do, I do, I do. Dr. Beverly Crusher. Is she here? <laughs> you oh, didn't fantastic. study to be a doctor, but you play one in the movies. Oh, no, actually, I, 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 uh, I do brain surgery on the weekends. That's I did fabulous. study. Yeah, You're no, so I did. You're so well-rounded. Absolutely. <laughs> You, you have directed several episodes of the Star Trek show, Well, right? I directed, uh, actually, not several. I, uh, I wanted to do several, but I only got one we'll take that at the last the year. I think we mm -hmm. should. Uh, and it was very successful, actually. Uh, so I had uh, a fantastic last year. It was a good experience. What was, you did a lot of stage before you did Star Trek, right? Are you still doing you read, that now? She read her bio. I read the bio. Uh, am I still doing that now? No, actually, I'm shooting something in Hawaii that's for the new uh, Paramount Network, a new series. And what is that? It's called Marker with Stephen uh, Gray and myself and uh, it's and you are not Beverly Crusher uh, no you're no. somebody else entirely yeah yeah it turns out that Beverly Crusher was just a role in Isn't a TV show I mean I thought it was my life but it's not it's it's just a role and and now I have another role and uh, life goes on have you seen the movie yet no oh it I'm is fabulous you've seen it yes I it have. is I yes. saw it Monday oh, and you look marvelous in it by the way oh wow which which captain is your favorite? Nobody else is looking except the nation. Which cap? Oh. Jean Luc. <sighs> and why Jean Luc? Because he's my captain. That's right. But did you ever, you know, watch William Shatner as a child and feel no. some kind of conflict when you came on? No. <laughs> no, I never watched him as a child. Um, uh, I'm sure he was a lovely child, but I never got to watch him as a child. Um, Did I say that wrong? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> no. Uh, but anyway, I'm looking forward to the movie, and I hope it's uh, a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it. I know you will, and I know they will. And, and if, if I don't, I'll, I'll just leave crying. You know, I mean, it'll be all right. We'll try not to get you with the mascara running. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank nice you. to meet Bye -bye. you. Look at this. DeForest Kelly. Yes, indeed. Hi, Fine. Eleanor Mondale. Bones. I'm Graham with yes, indeed. E. Pleasure. This, of course, Pleasure. the original doctor on the Starship Enterprise, Bones. That's right, the original. I'd, I'd like to try my impression out on you a little bit. It's not very good. All right, but, let's hear it. My God, Jim. That's all I do. I keep my impressions short. It's safer there. Damn it, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll just I'll stay over here and I won't okay. talk. Okay, all right. This whole thing is about generations. Is this is this exciting for you, or do you look at the young kids and go, we did it better? Oh no, I, <laughs> uh, I, it, it's, I don't know, it's, it's like, uh, I told somebody a while ago, it's like war time, you know. Uh, I, I usually know why I'm here. I'm here to see this film this mm -hmm. time, and it's not our film, so it's kind of a strange feeling. But I'm very excited about it. I think Rick Berman has done a magnificent mm -hmm. job with it. And uh, they're all quality people, and they're carrying on in the finest tradition. Let me ask you this. As, a, as an original Star Trek fan myself, when the new Star Trek shows started coming on, I wasn't sure I wanted to watch them, but a lot of people did. How did you feel about that? The same way. Same way? Same way. Yeah. And, and as a result, I haven't seen too many of them. But they're, they're I, I good. Did, I did a cameo in the pilot. Mm -hmm. I played McCoy at 137 years old. How did that feel? I enjoyed it. It was just, you know, it was it was fun, and it was kind of a way. It was the first, it was the first indication that one of us were passing it on to the next group. Mm -hmm. Roddenberry asked me to do it, and I wanted to do it because Roddenberry had been so meaningful in my life. Not only Star Trek, but other things mm -hmm. before that. Did you ever think that taking that one little role of uh of Dr. McCoy would change your life so greatly? No, I had been doing something that was rather unusual. I was crossing over. I had done, I had just finished a film with Betty Davis and uh, Susan Hayward called wow. Where Love Is Gone. Mm -hmm. Before that, I'd done Warlock with Henry Fonda. And then I'd go do television. So Gene, I had worked for before. I'd done a couple of pilots for him. And he called me for this. And uh, when I, to make a long story short, I, I signed it for seven weeks. Did you really? And I thought, well, hell, that's seven weeks' work, you know. Uh -huh. Then I'll go back and do another movie or something else. Robert. And that was all she wrote. Yeah. That was it. I had no idea that, she, that it was. I swear, I thought I, that I'd get seven weeks' work. Well, it's been Quick. quite an honor meeting you. I, I have what to ask. Okay. All right, they're telling us we got to go to a break. Okay. Okay. It, it's such an honor to meet you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Enjoy the movie. Bye-bye. Folks, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more of this. More. That was pause.